Hi, this is Justin from Hot Spot Nymphing and today I got a new Carbon XL 9 foot 5 weight. This rod is going to replace my first fly rod, a Wright and McGill 5 weight. Sadly, that rod got broken a few weeks ago. We did fix it, but it broke again the first trip back out. The Carbon XL is going to be a bit of an upgrade, and I can't wait to catch some fish on it. I started by setting it up with a Lamson Liquid fly reel and a 5 weight. So far I've been very impressed with my Lampson reel, and I'm excited to own another one. They are very durable, easy to clean, and have a good drag system. They look pretty good as well. I then attached backing to the reel using an arbor knot, just in case I hook into a carp or something crazy happens. For a fly line, I chose the Rio Absolute Trout, a nice weight forward floating line, and I used an Albright knot to tie that to the backing. Reported by Echo's site, the Carbon XL is a medium fast rod with around mid power. In my opinion, the rod feels like it has a very uniform taper and is pretty powerful for how delicate it is. So far, it's done really well setting the hook into some small trout with dries, which can be quite challenging sometimes. As well as fishing some decent sized streamers and setting the hook into brown trout around the 13 to 14 inch mark. It's a true all around performer. It feels really smooth and I've been very impressed with the lamps and reel as well. There's one. He, he annihilated that dry. It's all brown. First trout on the new fly rod. That's so cool. On the Goddard Caddis. There's one. He ate the nymph this time. He's a fighter. Another little brown. About the same size as the first one. He ate the little waltz worm. Nice brookie came up and ate the dry. First brook trout on this new fly rod. Pretty little fellow. There he goes. There's one. I knew I could start pulling some out if I nymphed, so I got the syndicate. Little rainbow warrior. Oh, he got away. So obviously the new rod is going to be a great dry dropper rod. But whenever there's plunging pools, pocket water, you just can't beat your own them things. With the dry dropper, the dry will begin to sink pretty quickly. It'll get flushed under every single cast pretty much. And it's just hard to get a good drift. But staying in contact with a single nymph, very effective. If you're interested in getting a new all-around 5 weight, I would highly recommend the Echo Carbon XL. It's a pretty affordable fly rod at around $170. I will continue to test out this rod, and my dad will fish it a bit as well and give me his opinion. In future videos, I'll definitely give you updates on the rod. Thanks for watching.